Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. I'm back in the Philippines. It's been two weeks actually since I arrived, I mean since I came back, but only now that I am doing a painting tutorial because I wanted to uh, I wanted to adjust again, you know, myself in my own place. I mean, sometimes when you leave for too long, I mean, when you're away for too long or relatively long, long time, uh, you're still you're still gonna adjust when you come back so I think I have finally adjusted I've finally reset my brain that I'm already back <laughs> so yeah we're, we'll be doing a painting tutorial today and we'll be doing some cherry blossoms because Cheryl and cherry blossoms just match all right <laughs> so we will be using only a few colors today we have okay these are the colors that I'll be using so we have titanium white, lemon yellow, red, and black. As you can see here, my square canvas paper. Again, this is a square canvas paper. So if you are, if you want to copy the size of my canvas, just get yourself a square canvas. It doesn't matter if it's too big, quite small. It doesn't really matter as long as you can really paint on it. So get yourself a square canvas or canvas paper. I'm using a canvas paper and paint it black. If you have a ready-made black, canvas that would be better for you because you don't have to paint it over just like what I did here anyway so here is or here are the colors I mean I just mentioned that okay I am still adjusting with my painting tutorial because it's been a while since the last time I did one I think almost a month really I took a break from doing tutorials anyway so since I've already mentioned the colors that we'll be using for today's tutorial let's start sketching it so we'll be doing quite a few flowers in one frame and we'll, we'll be, uh, we will be focusing more on like two flowers right in the foreground all right so for the sketch i'm just gonna use my white since we'll be using some white pinkish cherry blossoms so get yourself some white paint and i'm gonna sketch now my subject so i'm gonna go right here This is just for the sketch, so um, we'll be changing some areas if we have to. We can always do that, especially with acrylics. Um, very easy to, very easy to uh, manage. Very beginner friendly. Okay, I think I'm I'm gonna make this quite one this quite this this one quite big. You see, even my English got affected. I can't speak proper English sometimes. All right, if you wanna ask me, do I miss do I miss Taiwan? Yes, yes, I do miss Taiwan. Not just Taiwan, but the friends that. You know, uh, and the people that I met there, um, I miss them. And when the airplane took off at the airport, you know, leaving Taipei, um, I was like teary eyed. <laughs> anyway, it's not for you to really know, but I want to tell you. <laughs> so that's the first flower. I'm going to proceed with the next one. Okay, we will do some dimension. So this one will be facing towards the, the, the left side.
Okay, and the rest of the flowers will be more of a blurry tie because of perspective. But I'm gonna show show you how the flowers on the back will look like. Very, very suggestive of flowers, but we will not be detailing them later. I think I'm gonna make this quite big. All right, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. There will be some flowers right here on the back or in the back. But just very suggestive. They're not really detailed. But we want to make sure that the, the frame is balanced. Okay, now I'm going to get a squarish brush just for me to have a good coverage. All right, I'm, now that I'm back home, I have my brushes and I have more options, which is amazing because, you know, when I was in Taipei, I was uh, limited to the brushes that I brought with me. So anyway, I'm gonna get my white, mix it with black so that I create a light grayish color. Don't make a super gray color, all right? Just this gray. I hope you can see. Okay, it's not too white, it's not too gray. It's just, okay, like this. So I'm gonna use this to underpaint our petals. So as I go, you know, I'm also adjusting the size of the flower of the petals because I want it to be quite big because we have a lot of space going on right here and right here. So I want to um, make use of some spaces that will also help in balancing, you know, in balancing our painting. So what I'm doing right here is just underpainting. We want to use a tone darker than the actual color of the flower, which is white. So we're using gray. If you're asking or for those beginners who want to find out, I mean, who want to know the reason behind um, underpainting it, that, that is to give the painting some shadow. Oh, by the way, now that I'm back, um, you can hear now in the background some ambulance because, you know, my building is very near the main road. Actually, my building in Taipei is very similar to this. You can hear the ambulance. You can hear all the noise. It's very similar, only that... Uh, It's not that often here. Okay. In Taiwan, it's always, always, uh, I can hear the ambulance or sometimes the garbage truck. <laughs> right. All right. Again, just paint it gray. Nothing uh, fancy, right? I mean, nothing fancy at the moment. Just paint your flower gray. Or your petals right also here
just like that. Okay, and we'll be doing the same thing uh, to the other petals that you see. So just keep going. Just keep going. Just this a bit. Okay, just like that. Okay, don't forget to wet your brush if you feel like your paint is too dry. Well, yeah, I believe this is the first time that I'm doing a cherry blossoms painting tutorial. I really haven't done anything like this in the past. All right, so now that we've underpainted the foreground flowers, I'm gonna do some background flowers and we'll be using the same color, but quite loosely, I mean, like this. Just apply some paints. Don't worry too much about getting the shape right. Just apply the paint. Because these are background flowers, meaning it sets or it gives the setting of the main subject, which are the foreground flowers, or which is the foreground flowers. So the setting is a bunch of flowers. It's not just two flowers, but there are some other flowers existing in the background. That's the setting. All right, and we also have some background flowers going on right here. Just paint it with some gray color. We will add some blurry effect later. For now, let's just apply some gray all right just like that all right okay now i'm gonna get my white pure white you don't have to wash a brush okay in order for you to do this gonna apply some white and of course you know me very well if you've been watching my videos in the past you know that I use my fingers in applying my paints because they help me in blending so I'm just gonna whiten this part Okay, I'm using pure white and also this part. All right, okay, just. I'm gonna whiten the edge or the edges of the flowers. And try to dry scrub. Okay, on some areas. Okay, I'm using white, pure white. Right. 
So now we're doing light. Actually, what we're doing right now, after the underpainting, is doing some light play by adding lighter tones on certain areas, leaving some areas gray. Not because they are gray, but because of the absence of light or lack of bright light. Again, some white right here. You know, I absolutely love painting white anything, like white flowers. I just like swans and all that. I just love playing with the white. Uh, it's just my favorite color. All right, again, brightening some areas using pure white. All right, and also right here. And if you notice, I'm dry scrubbing. I'm not really using too much water. I'm not really dipping my brush on the water or in the water. I'm trying to work with the dry brush technique. Just like that okay I'll be using pure white let's stick with pure white guys you don't have to change Okay, again, pure white in the background. Okay. Now I'm going to switch to I'm going to switch to a smaller and more pointy brush for the purpose of getting into those tight areas. Okay. All right, so I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to get a small pointy brush. I'm going to use the same color white and I'm just going to go around the edges of the flowers.
me. Just go around. I'm dipping my brush onto the water so that I get more smoother lines. Okay, you can really hear the traffic from here. I'm still using pure white, guys. Don't worry too much. I'm I'm really enjoying the highlighting part. Okay. Now I'm going to get my red. Get your red and your white to create that pink color. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow just to make it more orangey color like this. I'm going to use this to create some background. Uh, oh, that's too orange. I'm going to add more red. That's too light. I'm going to add little dots. Remember I told you that the background petals will be more of blurry type. So just um, do some suggestions of what's in the background. You don't want to do detailed background because it's not a background anymore. It becomes the foreground. All right. And right here I'm gonna add a little bit of suggestion We're gonna add some dots. Okay, I'm gonna use some dark red. So this time it will be red and black. Get your dark red. And this creates some little dots here and there. gonna get my black just to get some more dark tones and using black I'm gonna adjust the middle section creating some creating the center of the flower and also forming part of the background because the background is black or dark so we want to make sure there is some negative space going on okay again my black using black I'm just going to create This is also your time to clean the painting. All right, just like 
Bye. Okay, wait guys. I'm going to check my phone. I'm sorry guys, I have to check my phone. It's quite an important uh, text. Okay, anyway, we were creating this. Okay, just allow some negative spaces going on, going back. Really want to clean. Okay, just like that. Okay, now let's go to the to the pollens I'm gonna get my white and mix it with the black color to create some gray and let's start creating some uh, pollen stems towards the center like that okay and we'll go back to that later for now let's do first the stems okay the pollen the pollen first I'm using gray it should be more gray than okay. like more water okay just like that well, I can hear that police car. Is that the police car or the ambulance? Not sure. Well, I'm really bad, guys. <laughs> I'm really bad because the sound, crazy. Every time. All right, just like that. Okay, now I'm going to go with the dark red that we already had. Just create some tiny dots. Tiny dots here and there. Okay, maybe a little right here. Just like that and then some more 
gray to suggest I'm gonna get some white or oh, no I'm, I mean gray and I'm gonna create some background petals that are quite of a blurry type so to make it blurry you have to use your well I'm using my fingers you can use something else like maybe a sponge or something like that but I think hands are way easier because you already have it you don't have to put it on all right, so I'm gonna apply something like white. Very abstractish, but makes sense, okay? some white Now, I'm going to use the same pointing brush. I'm going to get my black and we're going to outline. Okay, we're going to separate the petals from each other. We don't want them to be like, ooh. Wait, guys. I think I ruined one pollen. Anyway, all right. Okay, as I was saying, we need to outline and separate each petal from one another. And in order, to, in order for us to do that, we have to create a thin outline separating each petal. You don't want to do super thick line because your painting will look a little cartoonish. And that's not the goal. Unless that's your goal, you can do that, but not my goal. So you do want to make sure that the petals are separated. Especially this one. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna get again my black and I want to darken some areas as you can see I'm using water down black so just add more water to your paintbrush and apply it this way you want to darken this area to give it dimension
we're going to create some shadows. I'm just using some darker gray. Okay, get some gray and we want to make some shadows. darkening some areas oops that's I made a mistake this one too dark. You can always adjust it if you made a if you made a mistake, just like what happened to me. Okay, again, just darkening. My hands in blending really help in. Applying the paint. All right. Okay. Now I'm gonna get my red. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of, a little bit of white and maybe yellow. And I'm gonna go right in the center of this foreground flower. And I'm gonna apply it randomly on the center. Some will be a little more orangey, some will be more red. Just play with the light. I'm gonna apply a little bit of yellow here and there on this petal, I mean on this flower. We will be glazing later. For now, let's just wait for the paint to dry a bit. Okay, I'm gonna get my white. I got myself a lot of white for this painting. Um, okay. So, um, I think the painting is not really complicated because when we're using uh, only four colors, we're not really using too much of color combination or anything like that. So it's all about focusing more on blending and identification of where the light is coming and where the light is not hitting. I'm gonna make this area quite bright.
and some background petals. I haven't really separated that I mean these two petals that are overlapping so I need to outline it a bit As you can see, there are areas that are gray, there are areas that are white, there are areas that are bright white, and there are areas that are less gray. So, the main point here is to be able to identify where the light is coming and where the light is hitting, okay? So I need to make some blurry, blurriness in the background, but first let me just brighten this up. And I also suggest you really touch the painting. I mean, what I mean is that you use your hands. Now if you've got some allergy issues, of course it's a different story, but in general, I mean acrylics are not really, you know, not, they are not really uh, dangerous or poisonous or anything like that you don't eat them but you can actually touch it without damaging your skin well at least to me I mean I think I'm a normal person so yeah you can actually touch it besides uh, you can actually just wash your hands and get the acrylic of your skin using a little bit of gray Okay, so I'm just brightening some areas that needs to be that need to be brightened.
Okay. and some detailing these are just background colors that may or may not be present in your painting but we're trying to be more suggestive especially for the background Okay, here comes the police. You can hear the... Alright, listen to it. Actually, it's not the police. I think it's the ambulance. Right? Yeah. Just darkening this area near the center. Okay, now I'm gonna use a larger brush. I want to blur the background because we don't want the background flowers to be part of the foreground flowers. So using a fairly wider brush, I'm gonna dab onto my black, just black, but I'm using a lot of water here. And now I'm gonna glaze over the background flowers okay, you don't want to paint over it uh, you just want to glaze it
Okay, you see white? I want to make sure that my painting is coherent. I'll be using some blazing as well, dry brushing, I call it. Let me check how this goes. Oh, nice. Okay, I need some black. So I'm gonna dab onto my black and make some darker gray color. And I need to darken even more this so that I create some dimension. Just adjusting it. always uh, um, dab on dark colors right here what's up with this area
and dark. I'm gonna gray this a bit, just a bit. So here. And I'm going to go around this area with some black just to make it appear more blurry. some gray. So I'm just reapplying the pollens because I think I've over painted I've painted over them or some of them some pink again I love it. Okay.
just gonna lighten a bit the pollens Pure white. Okay, I think this is done, right? I think this is done. Okay, I'm gonna sign this now because I'm quite happy about this. Of course, you can always clean your painting because I don't like any lines outside the sketch. Okay, just like that. You can clean it. Okay, I'm gonna use my white. Since I do have a lot of white here for the signature, because we're done. I'm gonna sign right here. Okay, we're done guys. We're done, I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you're painting along with me, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this painting, let me know in the comment section below and like this video. So see you in my next video, guys. And yeah, bye. Love you.